In this video, I'm going to explain what a VPN is, why it is important that you use one, and how to install it on Android devices, in particular in this case, Amazon Fire TV devices. We recently had our IP Vanish installation video removed. Now, why was it removed, you might ask? That's a very good question that I do not have the answer to. We even tried to appeal the removal, but we were unsuccessful. Not only were we unsuccessful, we are also uninformed by the people who could inform us. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. All we can do is learn from our mistakes. It's gonna be a little bit different in this case, but these are the cards we're dealt. This section of the video is particularly useful for new users. Seasoned users, this section is for your friends and family that need help understanding what a VPN is and how it works in simple terms. Let us do the explaining so you don't have to. So refer them to this video. So what is a VPN? A VPN, simply put, is privacy technology. It works by establishing an encrypted connection via a tunneling protocol to transmit the data, the pictures, text messages, bank information that leaves your device to the apps and services that you are using. So I want you to imagine a train and this train is traveling on a mountainside and is clearly visible if you are near it. You would also be able to see what's inside the train, like the people, the furniture. In this analogy, the train would be your internet connection signal and the people inside the train would be your data and private information that you want to protect from unauthorized access. Now, when that train goes into a tunnel and is no longer visible, this is similar to what a VPN does for your connection. That's the easiest way that I can explain what a VPN is to a person that's never heard of it before. This analogy may even provide some clarity for seasoned users as well. Okay, so we've explained what a VPN is in very simple terms. The next natural question is, why? Why should I care and why should I use one? Now, obviously the answer to that question will be different for each person and each family. However, there are some common reasons that we all probably share. The first being privacy. We all want the option to choose when to allow access to our private information. I'm sure we all know at this point, we are being tracked across the internet by governments, hackers, social media platforms, and I don't think it's a stretch to say nine times out of 10, they are not being benevolent with the information that they get from us. For instance, when your internet service provider deems your daily internet activities as undesirable or an arbitrary abuse of their terms of services, they will then begin to throttle your connection even though you are supposed to have an unlimited data cap. So when you use a VPN, it will change your IP address and keep your internet activities private, which can cause you to regain your original speeds and performance level and sometimes even better. Now, another reason you might wanna use a VPN is to gain access to certain media libraries on apps like Netflix and Hulu that they only show in that specific region. Simply put, a VPN can give you access to restricted content. I could do a whole video about gaining access to restricted content, but we'll leave it there for now. Read between the lines if you know what I mean. Now, some of the other reasons people use VPNs around the world, especially in places like China or Russia, is those citizens are just trying to gain access to the outside world. And the only way they can do that is by using a VPN. IPVanish has a very cool feature called traffic obfuscation. This feature stops governments from deep packet scanning, which makes it harder for them to know that you are even using a VPN. We covered the restrictive nature of the Chinese government in our Eileen Gu video and her naive comments about VPNs in China. The effectiveness of VPNs have proven themselves to be even more useful for civilians trapped 
in this mind-boggling conflict in Ukraine. VPNs and Elon Musk's Starlink internet is the only way people have been able to be informed about the rest of the world in the middle of a war. There are many other reasons that people use VPNs, but we'll leave it there for now because some of those reasons are too hot for YouTube and maybe we'll do them in a Patreon video one day. Okay, now I wanna show you just how easy it is to purchase an IPVanish subscription. Let's click the link in the description box below that says sign up for the best VPN. All right, guys, here we are at the IPVanish home screen. So now all we're gonna do is just scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna show you the different plans and prices. So here you see $3.99 a month when you get the year plan. And if you just go with the monthly plan, it's gonna be $10.99. Now guys, keep in mind, you get a seven day free trial. If you are not happy with the service before the seven days, just go ahead and cancel the subscription within your account. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select yearly to get it the cheapest price. So go ahead and select it, select start now. All right, so now what you're gonna do is, since you already have your plan selected, you're just gonna enter in all your information, create your account. Remember this email address, guys. Please don't lose your email information and your password. Use one that you commonly use or use a password manager. I'm gonna do a separate video on that as well. So you wanna choose your payment method. You could pay with PayPal, a credit card, or a debit card. And you could read through all this stuff item by item if you want. And then once you agree to the automatic renewal terms, you're gonna go ahead and select subscribe now. And like I said before, you have a seven day free trial. If you wanna cancel it, do it before those seven days are up. No problems, no harm, no foul. All right, now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install on the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now to download and install IPVanish, you see the home icon there that I'm on? You're just gonna scroll over to the left by pressing left on the remote control right there at that magnifying glass icon. Scroll down, select search. Okay, we're gonna start typing in IPVanish. Go ahead and scroll down, you see it in the options there. Select IPVanish. All right, that's the icon, select it. All right, go ahead and select download it. All right, select open. Okay, now you are just gonna enter the email and the password that you used when you purchased your subscription on the IPVanish website. So go ahead and enter that in now, and it should automatically just log you right in if you entered in everything correctly. Okay, it says connection request. Go ahead and select okay. All right, we're inside the IPVanish dashboard here. And before we select fastest available, I just wanna say in the past, I believe it was called best available. Don't quote me on that. But what I said in my previous videos was that this wasn't always the best option. Now, things may have changed since I made that video as far as the way that they prioritize which servers they're gonna serve you at first. Now, I'm gonna do a separate video on how to choose different servers because I don't want this video to be too long. So go ahead and select connect. Okay, so now we're gonna scroll over to the settings. So scroll over to the right and select the settings icon. All right, this first section here, it's just my account. It just shows your personal information, your email. It doesn't show your password. So coming down to Android startup, connect on Android startup. Yes, we definitely want that on. That way we can make sure that we're always protected and that we don't have to think about it. Okay, scrolling down to connection. It says LAN access, allow local networks to be routed outside the VPN. This is definitely for more advanced users. For example, if you're trying to connect your computer to your Fire TV stick while you have your VPN on, you won't actually be able to use the programs because the IP address has been changed. So if you turn this on, you will then have access to your local devices. So we'll leave that off for now. All right, and then you have split tunneling. It says choose apps that can connect to the internet without using the VPN tunnel. Now this is very useful for certain apps, specifically Netflix. Netflix is one of the few apps who are known to block VPN users. Now there are some tactics to get around that, but that's, another, that's for another video. So go ahead and select split tunneling. All right, now see, these are all the system apps here. To save yourself some time, just go ahead and select recommended. 
Now, I don't have Netflix installed because I don't use that app. But since I have Prime Video here, and I've never had any issues using my VPN with Prime Video, but if I did, I would select this here, then I would be able to access the Prime Video app as normal without any issues. So whatever apps you have here, choose the apps that you do not want protected by your VPN. I know that doesn't make any sense for a platform like Netflix to force you to be unprotected just to access their service, but it is what it is. So go ahead and press the back button. All right, then it says automatic app launch. Choose an application to open following a successful connection. Now you get to choose whatever app that you want to start up automatically after your VPN has had a secure connection. Like I mentioned before, I have to be real careful about which apps that I allow to be displayed on the screen here. I'm probably gonna black some of them out because we believe that is one of the reasons why they removed our previous IP Vanish installation video. So you come through here and you just start choosing the apps that you want to start up automatically. And so I'll select Def Squid. Go ahead and press the back button. All right, press the back button again. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Amazon home screen. And there it is, guys. That's how you install the latest version of IP Vanish. I've explained to you what a VPN is and why it's important that we all use one moving forward. We will include the link in the video description box below with a promo code to save on a yearly subscription. If you have any questions about VPNs or IP Vanish or any other VPN service for that matter, you can ask us in the comment section down below. We would appreciate your help with the algorithm if you're up to it. And we will see you in the next video.